Okay, so uh, uh, the part two of workshop zero uh, became very slow. So the way I saw it, it would take a long time for me to be able to do change every single thing for every student. So I'm going to completely ignore it. If you have sent me the invite and the uh, invitation, if the invitations that you have done um, uh, are, and the files that you have created, if the files are properly done, which means you have your README file and in, in your README file you do have your uh, um, if you do have your uh, f uh, name, student number, section, email, everything set over there properly the way I asked you to do so, and your uh, uh, GitHub profile holds your uh, real first name and last name, then you're fine and you're going to get your full mark. Uh, take a look at your README file. If you see in your README file, I added that your README file is incomplete or something like that, please fix those problems and then um, let me know. Uh, but how do we um, approach? Uh, how do we continue from this? So when you create this this, this repository of here, just uh, start using it. Um, by using it, I mean is that the repositories that I have on GitHub that you clone, the notes that I write in class, workshops, and later on projects, you clone these things beside the works that you have. Anytime any new workshop comes out and you want to work on it, just simply uh, open up that um, uh, pull the changes so you get the new workshop I've already done it there is no new poll so the uh, workshop 2 is already here um, then the workshop that you want to work copy it copy that directory from the repository remember that you cannot copy the entire repository because a repository cannot exist inside another repository we don't have nested repositories so copy for example workshop 2 then go to your works and create a directory over there that makes sense I'm gonna call it workshops and then then sorry then paste it right in there and um, I just want to make sure that my git ignore is properly set so I'm gonna copy the git ignore from the the other one and paste it over here just in case paste replace oh, apparently wasn't good now it is okay so now um, so you put it over here and then you start working right in there like for example if I want to work on lab I know that I need to have a car H and a car car CPP in in uh, lab um, uh, workshop to lab so I'm gonna create the uh, car car dot uh, H and new text document car dot CPP After creating these two, I'll bring the CSDR tools from the uh, previous workshop. I already have them in here, so I'm just going to copy it and bring it. So let's say this is copied from workshop one, where you're supposed to do that. So we're going to put it in here, and I'm going to paste it right over here. And now that it's pasted in here, um, uh, oh, sorry, I, I put it in the wrong place. I gotta put it in works and then workshops and workshop too. So I'm gonna paste it in labs over here. And now I can start working right in here. So in this OP244 works repository, I start working. But you start your work by adding all the files to the repository so it keeps track of what you're doing. So immediately after setting everything and making it ready, you think it works, so you open the Visual Studio and take a look at it, see if all the files are present over there. Let it come up. Okay. So now I see I have car.cpp over here. I have SCR tools. Uh, I have everything in here, so uh, I'm ready to go. So that's the, it looks okay to me. So now I'm going to just make sure everything's okay. I save it. Um, save and I minimize it. Then I'll go in uh, OP Workshops right click on uh, the workshop repository and simply say add over here there we go and click on add it's simply because your git ignore is set properly it's going to add only the files over there and I'm going to say uh, commit and in my commit I'm going to call that um, uh, say uh, starting 
um, workshop two, lab uh, part one. Part one, and I'll commit, and I'll push. Then after doing this, go back to your work. So you push it, it goes to your OP244 works repository on GitHub. And then you continue your work right over here. So essentially, you go in here and you start doing your coding and anything that you want to do. And as soon as you uh, get to a point that you uh, feel this is right, this is the place that you accomplish something, you pass through certain milestone, you commit right over there. For example, if I want to, um, just an example, I'm going to add over here, um, if, defi if not define, I'm going to call it S SDDS car H and then put over here define and I'll add the namespace SDDS then I'll save it I'll go to cars over here and I'm going to say include include uh, car.h and namespace stds and I save it and as soon as I do this I'll come back over here and I right click I commit and I just say for example um, added safeguards and namespace to car and then commit you don't need to push it but if you do it your github repository will be updated you can just leave it as commit so every single commit that you do when you push all those commits are going to go to uh, github so the good thing is that later on when you come back to here you can simply go to show log and you can see exactly what happens when so in here Fred Soli that is me in here I added so and I click over here added safeguards to namespace and this is what I what happened this was the differences and you keep you can just double click on it and it shows you the difference for the things that happen so every single like keep that thing open and keep committing to your code committing your code to your repository at any moment that you think you have a question that you want to ask me all you need to do is to just push this to git so you simply go toward this git and you go push so it goes to 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 github then you call me and tell me far that i have a problem i simply pull the repository right in front of you help you with all the uh fixes that i want to do on your work um and commit it then you can pull it um, and see what the differences are and you simply reflect on those things in your in your workshop and you continue your work as simple as that so uh, this replaces your work part two of workshop zero. Um, start working in OP244 works. Even for daily practices, create a practice directory over here. And in that practice directory, go copy the daily notes that I have in here. So 3 January 20, copy over here, and then paste it into the works practice. Paste. And then you can start working right over here on all these things one by one, test it and see how they work. And if you have any problem with this, again, push this and say far that I have problem on the crazy reference thingy over here. Let's open it up and work on it and see. So again, we can collaborate like this. So this replaces part two of um, uh, of workshop zero I don't expect you to submit anything for this I'm gonna go and mark your anybody who sent me the invitation as soon as, as long as you have proper information in your uh, uh, proper proper information you in your readme file and your um, uh, profile has your real name in it then you're just fine and you're gonna get the full mark for workshop zero and so that concludes part two um, uh, and I'm waiting for you whenever you have a problem or any help you need with any workshops the very first thing that you're going to tell me for that pull my repository and i pull it and then uh, we, we i'll start the help session for you uh, that's it and have yourself a beautiful day